What's up, guys? Welcome back to Kung Fu on Command. So today we're going to discuss the popular phrase, others walk the bow, but I walk the string. Now, what does that mean? Now, to a Kung Fu practitioner or a Wing Chun practitioner, uh, just, you will think about a bow and arrow. And in the bow and arrow, you have the bow part, which is kind of like this, and then you have the, the string. And it basically means like, Instead of doing a lots of flowery attacks, uh, you know, lots of circular motions, we take a direct approach, a straight line approach like a string. Now, what I want to do is I want to talk about when to use this technique because or uh, this saying, because a lot of times people in the Kung Fu community, they use this phrase and they get it wrong. Um, they understand it, but they don't understand it in a fighting situation. Because a lot of times, uh, circular motions beat a straight line. But also a lot of times, straight lines beat circular motions because it's just straight fast. It's just simply faster. For instance, uh, the fastest, uh, the fastest uh, point from point A to point B is a straight line. So in theory. In a fight, it would look something like this. Okay, we have a guy, this guy in black. He's keeping his distance from this aggressor. And in theory, this is what a martial arts practitioner wants. Okay. Boom, there it is right there. The straight line. That is the theory. That's the situation that you want. But but a lot of times a lot of times we get situations like this. Now we have our kung fu guy over here and we have our MMA guy over here, and let's check it out. I'm just gonna mute this. Oh. Okay, guys, I'm floor for my leg kick. That's the, there it is. That's what we're looking for right there. Let's rewind it a little bit. So, what we have is right there. Guy goes right there, takes him to the ground. Okay, this slow motion. There was a clip. I want to see where the guy. He so basically right here. See the Wing Chun guy's frame. That's his straight line. That's his opportunity to jab the mixed martial arts practitioner in the chin and go for the knockout. Like example A that we just showed earlier. But you see this curve motion when it makes martial artists. He goes around the straight line and then basically the rest is history. And there's another one right there. There's a straight line right here. He's already broke his balance with the first punch. But the straight line should go here from the wing chun practitioner. But the MMA guy, he already broke his balance once and he goes over again with a straight line. So, moral of the story is both techniques work. The hook or circular motions, they work, they have their place. And then the straight line, the straight punch, it definitely has its place as well. You just have to know when to use it. So, that's all we have for today. This is actually a pretty long video. I hope you guys like it and enjoy. Uh, please, uh, Follow me on Instagram at Vienna underscore Kung Fu. And uh, that's it for today. And stay tuned for the next one. Bye for now. Peace.